All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the, I believe this is the second video of a, of, you know, the evolution of a hero from Hero Factory. Last time we did Ferno, and today we are doing the Alpha Team leader himself, Preston Stormer. Now, and basically what I'm doing in this series is just, we take a look at all the different versions of each hero from the line, because Hero Factory lasted for about four years. So see how see we just we're gonna take a look at the changes they've gone through the different versions and yeah and um, as I've always said I do not count invasion from below uh, reason being because it's not a buildable figure invasion below is like a line of buildable mechs with hero minifigures so I don't really count that I want to just count the f buildable figure itself no no minifigures it doesn't really count so yeah. So Stormer and Inferno are the only two heroes that appear in every single friend, uh, every single season, literally from beginning to end. You always get Inferno and Stormer. It's like they're the main characters. Yeah, I get it. Stormer is the alpha team leader. It makes sense. Not in Brain Attack though. In Brain Attack, he took a step down and gave the leadership role to Inferno, which is quite interesting. But yeah, uh, before it's always him and Stormer veteran of the hero factory and he's gone through he's seen a lot he's definitely gone through a lot that's for sure so let's start off here with his basic first time we ever see him in the ordeal of fire this is pre ccbs so this is preston stormer stormer 1.0 um he doesn't look too bad although i will say <clears throat> like i i was like the this ice saw gun piece that he has is actually pretty good um, though I would say like again these are not TCBS so they're kind of plain in my opinion but yeah no not bad like this like for the first time seeing Stormer this is pretty good like I really think Lego's done a pretty good job with this one given the fact that he's not TCBS so this is Stormer 1.0 released in 2010 later on in the year we received two versions of Stormer because we have we had uh, two seasons in uh, 2011 Ordeal of Fire and then Savage Planet. So here's the Ordeal of Fire to Stormer 2.0, which in my opinion, he kind of went on a downgrade because this is probably the worst looking version of Stormer from all five of these. Cause uh, I don't know. First and foremost, I wasn't a big fan of how bare this, uh, this bone joint is. There's no armor, no nothing covering it. Um, his weapon piece here seems kind of random. Doesn't really look appeasing to my eye. The hose here, I guess, this is the first time we receive these hoes, so that's pretty good. Uh, apart from that, yeah, it just looks plain, looks empty. The Baraki eye goggles piece didn't make sense. I wasn't a big fan of the headgear for the 2.0 heroes, but yeah, I'm like, no, this is definitely the worst, worst version of Stormer yet. But this is the first time Stormer has received the upgrade into CCBS Stormer with the CCBS building system. So this is Stormer 2.0. In the same year, we've gotten Stormer 3.0 in Savage Planet, and in Savage Planet, uh, the heroes take on animal powers, so Stormer here is a rhino. Uh, from all the other Savage Planet heroes, again, Stormer here is my least favorite, but if we're looking at just purely Stormers, this 3.0 Stormer, without a doubt, is much better than 2.0 Stormer, that's for sure, because, well, yeah, I, I mean, he's trying to represent a rhino here, but apart from that, like, there's some stuff here that just doesn't make sense on it. For example, like the name badge. Why is it green when the rest of his color scheme is all white and blue? You know, it's it just the contrast doesn't work. And like, not gonna lie, 2011 was Stormer's worst year that they haven't that they've done a pretty poor job on. You know, but in 2012 they took it to a bigger level. They made sure that you know um, Stormer didn't fail that he would redeem himself and they did that in breakout by giving him the XL title so in 2012 Stormer became Stormer XL right after Raka XL so this is where I believe Stormer took a major turn because well he's an XL hero but he's not he doesn't have a lot of pieces on him being an XL character in Raka XL and the other big villain characters, we have so many bone joints, so many stuff attached on them to make them XL. Stormer kept it simple because it's the first time they introduced these friction adder pieces, and I believe Stormer is one of the first figures to ever use them. 
And yeah, and it was also the first introductory of this mega huge chest piece, which was later on used with more other bigger, like buildable action figure characters. So, Star Wars XL here played a major part in debuting many new pieces for CCBS. And yeah, I, like I would say his sword is kind of whack. I kind of wish the sword was built much better. The excessive amount of drones also seemed unnecessary. I feel like that was like a way for Lego to just cover up everything to not give him armor coverage. But if you notice in Breakout, headgear is the same as 1.0. It is literally the same mold. Because in Breakout, they decided to go back to their 1.0 helmets, which is which is fine. Like I think I believe that's 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 unacceptable because because they took you know OG pieces and combined it with CCBS. Why not, right? I don't see a problem with that. But yeah, there's that. So this is Stormer XL, the biggest version of Stormer Wolf's T, and definitely because being the uh, Alpha Team leader, he definitely deserves to take that XL title. Later on, the final year, Brain Attack in 2013. Stormer is at his best, and I mean it. Though he did downgrade it from being XL to just being back to a mm, semi-normal sized hero, he still doesn't fail to impress with the super awesome like new pieces and just the way he's assembled. Yeah, so Stormer in Brain Attack here, he's got this really cool looking sword. That's awesome. He's got this ice shield. Questionable, but also pretty good. Ice missiles, and the fact that his back is covered. Oh my goodness, no way. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. So yeah, so this is, yeah, I believe this is Stormer at his best. 2013 Stormer. Brain attack Stormer. Yeah, he just looks, he really looks like a proper warrior warrior fighter compared to what we have here, which he, he, he just looks kind of goofy in my opinion. But yeah, so Stormer. 2013, mm, super amazing. Does not fail to impress. So, if you figure out, so from from, from these these five, well, which one do I prefer? Well, simple. Stormer from Brain Attack, Stormer XL, Stormer 1.0, Stormer 3.0, Stormer 2.0. Just Stormer 2.0 is it's just he just looked absolutely hideous. I'm so sorry, but he just uh, he didn't look good whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah. So that is the evolution of Stormer. You see, going from this guy to an XL guy, and then back to a much cooler looking guy, though he's not XL anymore. It's fine. So, like, what do you guys think? Like, which version of Stormer from the years have been your favorite? Let me know in the comments. But that's it for this one. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Next up, I don't know what hero we're doing. We'll see. And yeah, and we're, the goal here is to go over all nine heroes and their evolution throughout Hero Factory's lifespan. So that's it for this one. Talk to you again in the next one. See ya.